Well, 616 now on your Monday morning. Really, with that, if you can take out the inversion, right, then high pressure really is beneficial for us because it means that our temperatures are staying slightly above average, especially in those mountain locations. We're even looking nice here in the Treasure Valley. Yesterday was gorgeous in Boise, made it up almost to 40 degrees, but we're looking for that significant system to come in and mix things up and knock out that inversion. It's not going to happen with this one that moves to our north overnight tonight. It's a weak disturbance, not strong enough to really mix anything up, but it could bring an inch of snow to our west central mountains, and it's already increasing the cloud cover over much of the gym state. So you wake up this morning, patchy fog heading out the door. It is less dense than it was last week, but nevertheless, it is there, and the air quality index is at 70 today. That's in the yellow or moderate category. You're really going to notice it out there. I know when I stepped out my car, it was almost like you could smell the smoke in the air out here in Nampa, the sugar beet factory. It just blocks in all of our air, keeps it really stagnant here in the valley. This is the first di disturbance that moves to our north tonight, possibly an inch of snow in the west central mountains, as I mentioned. This is the next one to head in our direction, but what it's going to do is it's sort of going to travel over that jet stream, that high pressure ridge, and hopefully come in to squash the ridge out briefly. Friday into Saturday, we could see some scattered showers here in the valley, and that could also be significant for our mountains, hoping for a couple of inches piling up on our slopes. Treasure Valley forecast for today, we do stay dry, aside from the cloud cover out there, and in the low end of the Treasure Valley, the more west you get toward Ontario, the cooler those temperatures will be. In the Magic Valley, Twin Falls making up to 41 today. It is a couple of degrees cooler than what we saw with our highs yesterday. West Central and Boise Mountains, look at how nice, really, 41 for a high in Idaho City, also in Riggins, mid-30s for Council. It's not all that bad in these mountains. You get above that inversion layer, you don't have to worry about the smog anymore, you don't have to worry about the haze, but you will see cloud cover out there. The temperatures will be a little bit warmer. And let's take a look at my on your side extended forecast, the hazy, foggy conditions again tomorrow. More sunshine expected to ring in the new year for the first day of 2014 and then looking for scattered showers but also a high of 40 degrees for Friday.